time I go through the presentation, pick up a few pointers, so uh, it's worth going through it again. All right, uh, Frank has already made the announcements that uh, about what's due, and we'll go over that again. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a look back to bring us up to this point, and um, then we'll go into the writing of literature. All right, so individual appointments next week. Everyone knows no class. Uh, you should be meeting with your faculty advisor. Today is the tables, graphs, and figures. Uh, methods section should already be in. And next week, the introductory section, which is your background in literature review. Okay. All right, so we've talked about different types of papers. There are practice papers. There are research papers. Um, and... Some of you are doing quantitative papers, some are doing qualitative, um, and very few, but are, some are, are looking at a systematic literature review, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit more. These are the three types of papers, but the question is, how do you take all the literature that you have and put it in, into a format that makes it easy to, for the reader to understand the points that you're trying to make? All right, so for tonight, I want you to understand how to analyze and synthesize the literature, how to write the section of your paper, the background and, and significance, and then we'll review some um, general writing tips that always pay off. Okay, so the punchline for today is that the critical outline for your paper is the outline of your thoughts. So it's not what our thoughts are, but what are your thoughts in putting the paper and that's the logical progression from one idea to another that builds up over the course of the paper in a meaningful way. All right, and you'll see me go back to this a few times in uh, this discussion. So the first section is how do you analyze and synthesize all of that um, literature that you put together? All right, the first step is that the more literature that you read, easier it is to organize it in, in a meaningful way. So what does that mean? Well, first you need to assemble your literature. And when you do that, you may find you need to read more literature. Perhaps you don't have enough to be able to pull the ideas together and synthesize them. Um, for those of you doing practice and research papers, you want to make sure that you demonstrate a mastery of the topic as it applies to your particular paper and project outcome. For those that are doing uh, a systematic review, it's really a mastery of the topic. And that's why they're sort of discouraged here because there's not enough time to really get a mastery of the topic. But there may be some doing some meta-analysis. Okay? Then you want to take notes. And this part will actually help you the most want to, if you have a research hypothesis, all right, you want to make sure that you can go through each article and identify how each one of those articles bears on your hypothesis. So you want to make notes um, about how, it, how the reference applies, what methods were used when they, when they did the study, uh, what were the sample sizes, what was the population that was studied, the demographics, what were the ages, um, was it male or female? Was it a certain um, racial or ethnic mix? So make notes of all of these as you go along. Also identify the theories that the authors used in their papers. And again, just continue to make notes. Uh, what were the results of the studies? Make sure that you're, you're clear as to what the results were, what the intended outcomes were, and what were the results of the study. And anything else that you find particularly striking as it relates to your uh, project. Okay? If you're doing a project paper, you may be analyzing and, and writing your notes in a little bit of a different way. So you may be looking at other agencies. You're comparing your project to what other agencies have done. And how have they addressed the health issue? What types of assessment tools have they used? Are those tools tested? Those are the kinds of notes that you may be taking. Um, if it's an intervention, what types of intervention was used in, in those other agencies? And how did it operate? Okay. The other is what theories may have guided 
added those interventions. Write it down so that when you get to the point of really coming up with the outline of your background, you'll have lots of information to draw on. Right? In addition to looking at other agencies, you may be looking at other cities, how other cities have operated. Maybe you're doing it more globally, how have other countries operated. So whatever the uh, proposal or your particular project is, you want to take a look at how the authors in those studies have been. making notes on anything that seems relevant to your project. While you're assembling, the next step is really to analyze the literature. So you want to look for themes and patterns. And the other things we'll talk about are gaps um, and some other uh, uh, ideas that come across as you go through the literature. Right? So for instance, if you were looking for a trend or a pattern Perhaps you're evaluating school-based programs. 